Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. Bacteria are everywhere. It resides even our body. Bacteria are composed of over 1,000 different species and more than 5,000 strains, some of which are considered beneficial and others have been shown to be harmful to health. Bacteria in our body weighs as much as our brain, about 1.5 kilograms. The bacteria on our skin, in our airways, and in our digestive system are the first line of protection against pathogens that can cause disease and other problems. Each person has a personalized collection of bacteria, called the microbiome. It lives in and on our bodies, on our skin and inner mouths, respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract, and genitourinary tract. We acquire our first bacteria while being born, and every day, our environment exposes us to more. It is so important, in fact, that without our microbiome, it is likely that we would not survive beyond 5 years of age. The two most common species of helpful bacteria found in our gut microbiome are lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. Clostridium difficile is an example of strain of bacteria that negatively impacts health, often termed pathogenic. The Good Bacteria the group of bacteria that occupy our respiratory and digestive systems are beneficial for our body's functioning and health. White blood cells look for infections and they limit the amount of bacteria that grow in our body. Likewise, bacteria keep white blood cells from using too much force. Probiotics are live bacteria that are considered good. It may help your digestion and enable your body to extract nutrients from your food. For instance, these bacteria break down carbohydrates and toxins, and they help us absorb the fatty acids which cells need to grow. Probiotics prevent the bad bacteria from multiplying and causing infection or inflammation. It also promotes repair of damaged tissue. What are the most common probiotics? The most commonly consumed probiotics are strains of two main species. This species are also the most studied of probiotics. Bifidobacteria This species of bacteria are commonly used in foods and supplements. They play a role in the immune system, control the growth of harmful bacteria in the intestine, and help in breaking down lactose into nutrients the body can use. Lactobacillus this species of bacteria composes lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose or milk sugar. These bacteria also produce lactic acid. Lactic acid helps regulate the number of bad bacteria. It also serves as muscle fuel and increases the body's absorption of minerals. Lactobacillus bacteria are found naturally in the mouth, small intestine, and vagina. Adding probiotics to your diet Before refrigeration, humans used to eat lots of useful bacteria via fermented and cultured foods. Supplementation may help to support the bacterial balance. You may want to begin taking probiotics simply by adding some items with natural probiotics to your diet. Some easily available food choices are yogurt, fermented cheeses, and fermented vegetable products such as miso and pickles. Yukult is a probiotic fermented milk drink which claims to have more than 8 billion beneficial bacteria, named Lactobacillus casei strain chirota. Probiotics should always be taken with food. If live bacteria supplements are not taken alongside food, 90-95% of the bacteria will die in the stomach acid. When the stomach is empty, it is typically very acidic, and this will destroy the good probiotic bacteria. 
Probiotics are considered to be dietary supplements, which are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration trusted source. Also, probiotic manufacturers do not have to prove claims of effectiveness, nor does the FDA monitor these claims. Maintaining balance between good bacteria and the more unhelpful species has been shown to be key to supporting a healthy digestive system. Please like and share. Goodbye!